Good day everyone. Welcome to Engineering E-Learning Channel. I'm your instructor, Sergey Maghanoy. For today's video, we're going to discuss about the Ohm's Law wheel formulas. Okay. Ohm's Law wheel formulas. So, if you're going to search in the internet, you're going to find the Ohm's Law wheel formula. As you can see, this is the Ohm's Law wheel formula. Okay. But how can we check if our formula is correct? This Ohm's Law wheel formula came from our two common formula. This wheel formula came from our two common formula, our Ohm's law, which is I is equal to E over R and our power formula from Joule's law, which is equal to power is equal to I times your voltage. Okay, so this is from your Ohm's law and this is from your Joule's law. So, if we're going to manipulate these two formula, this formula number one and formula number two, all of these attributes here can be derived from these two formula. Okay, let's start with the current. Okay, if we derive the, the formula from current from formula number one so we'll already have i is equal to e over r so we have one formula second if we're going to manipulate the formula number two in terms of i so that is power is equal to i is it times your voltage if you're going to um, transpose voltage your i is equal to your power over your voltage so that is your second formula in terms of current how about for your third formula you're going to substitute your in terms of i yes so the formula we're going to in terms of voltage this will be um, e is equal to power over current so this formula is we're going to transpose there your i is equal to e e that is power over your current all over r so if we're going to move in terms of I, this will become I squared is equal to your power over your resistance. So finally, your I is equal to a square root of your power over R. So that is your third formula in terms of your current. So same process. Okay, if we're going to check in terms of power, in terms of power, that is your already your second formula from Joule's law. That is power is equal to your current times your voltage. That is your formula one. Okay, here. How about for your uh, second formula? If we're going to, again, substitute the in terms of i our formula number one here so power so what is our the, the i that is e over r times your e so finally your power is equal to e squared over r that is your second formula in terms of power how about the third one so 
here we are going to what in terms of e yes so if we're going to substitute in terms of e our first formula we transpose in terms of e that is e is equal to i times r so power is equal to since in terms of e i what is our uh, e here that is i r right so what will happen okay so that will become power is equal to i squared r which is that is your third formula okay okay So moving on, let's solve in terms of E from the formula, from the two formula in terms of voltage. So, so our formula I is equal to E over R. So if we're going to transpose in terms of E, that is E is equal to your I R. So that is your first formula in terms of E. So formula number one. Okay, so if we're going to uh, transpose the, the, the current in terms of the voltage, so that's in the second formula, that is, so E, I, in terms of I, so that will become power over the voltage times R. Okay, so what will happen? So this will become A squared uh, PR. So finally, your E is equal to square root of your power and the resistance. That is your second formula. How about the third formula? We already have this one, this one, and how about this one? Uh, that is only the second formula from power i.e. if we're going to solve in terms of the voltage that is equal to i power over over the current okay so that is your third formula about for your resistance the same story uh, from the ohm's law from the ohm's law um i is equal to e over r so in if we transpose uh, if we transpose in terms of R, so your R is equal to voltage over the current. So we have our formula 1. But for second, here in terms of the power, we substitute the value of your E in terms of power. So here in second formula, if it is in, in terms of E, that is E is equal to power over the current. So R so in terms of E, that is power over the current all over your the current. So what will happen? Your R becomes power over the squared of your I. Okay. So this is your second formula. The third, uh, we sub still substitute in terms of your current naman. So A, uh, so your R in terms of current that is E your current here will be power over the voltage so power over the voltage since it's in numerator it will become what E is squared over the power so finally your R is equal to E squared over your power so that is your third formula okay so we have this we derive this we derive this it means that if you're going to to remember or to memorize just memorize these two formula the ohm's law in the power formula from the joule's law okay so i hope the Ohm's law wheel of formula is clear how to derive. 
So, so from two formula, we derive almost 12. So this is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 formulas from Ohm's law and the power formula. Okay, so I hope it's clear. Thank you and have a nice day everyone.